and what you get. Yes. Yes, exactly. All right. So now we got an issue. One thing we notice, ladies and gentlemen, is we go from positive to negative, right? Now, when we looked at those formulas, what did we have when we went from a positive to a negative? How did we do that? Why did we, we had an exponent, right? But what, we had what raised to a power? We had a negative 1. So we know that there's probably going to be a negative 1 raised to an n power, right? We know that is going to happen. Now what we want to do is we want to look at this and we want to say, all right, so what's happening to my values? Okay? How am I going from one term to the next? When I plug in my terms and I'm getting my ending value, what is the relationship? And the first thing I always like to do is look at arithmetic relationships. What am I adding or subtracting? So you could say, oh, OK, at a 2 to, neg to negative 5, right? I'm subtracting 7. Well, do I subtract 7 again and get to 10? Yeah. No. Yeah. Well, oh, you're adding now I'm, well, now I'm adding 15 to go from negative 5 to 10. So we're not adding or subtracting the same amount of numbers to go from one to the next, right? Then we look at multiplication. Um, and we see that you know, when I plug in one of these numbers, if I plug in 2, can I multiply this 2 by something to be able to get me to the negative 5, and then add or subtract something? Well, I could say, huh? You're going to have to mul you could multiply by a negative number, but you also have this negative 1 raised to the n. So what? So that's what I'm saying. If you did 2, right? If you multiplied it by negative 2, right? And then subtracted it from 1, right? That would give you negative 5. 2 times negative 2 minus 1. Negative 2 is negative 4. And then minus 1 is 5. All right? Now let's see if that would work for this. 2 times 3 is 6. Minus 1 is 7. Well, that's not even getting me close, right? I'm not worried about the alternate signs because that's just going to alternate signs. But now I'm not even close to that, right? And then 4 times 2, that's not going to work. So now I need to think of a different relationship. How can I get from these values? So we kind of marked off adding and subtracting, right? I can't add or subtract my terms. I can't, when I plug in 4, I don't know why I was looking at these terms originally. I can't add or subtract 3 to get 10 because it's not the same. So there's another relationship. Adding and subtracting are out. Multiplication and dividing are out. What's another way that we could, what's another relationship or another operation? Well, adding and subtraction are out. We can't add or subtract the same number for each one of these terms. Well, we could take square root, but these numbers, if I take the square root of 4, that's 2. That's not close to 17. But what's the opposite of square root? Opposite of square root. Squaring. So let's see if squaring, does that get us anywhere close? If I took 3 and squared it, that's 9. What would I have to do to get to 10? Add 1, right? Would that get me close here? If I did 4 times um, 4 squared would be 16, plus 1 would be 17. It is negative, but remember, we have the negative component here, right? Yeah, but are we getting, I know, but I'm just saying, are we getting close to our numbers? Yeah. Two, t 2 squared plus 1 is 5, right? Mm -hmm. So that, that's something good. So we have n squared plus 1. Now we just need to make sure how is this going to work. All right, so let's see, does this formula work? Let's do a sub 1. a sub 1 equals negative 1 to the first power times 1 squared plus 1. Well, negative 1 squared is negative 1. 1 squared is 1 plus 1 is 2. So that equals a negative 2. Uh, we need a 2, right, not a negative 2. So I'm close, but I have the wrong sign. So something I need to do to maybe change this. Um, so maybe what I could do is, so since this is starting off a negative, that means I'm starting as an even, as a odd power. So I probably want to start this as a even power. So what could I rewrite instead of n? I could write it as n. How could I make an odd to an even? I just have to add how many values? One. One. So let's try this n plus 1. So now let's do a sub 1. Negative 1 times 1 plus 1 times 1 squared plus 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. Negative 1 squared is 
or negative 1 squared is uh, 1, times 1 squared is 1 plus 1 is 2. Looks pretty good, right? Let's try another one. Just make sure it works correct. Let's do a sub 2. So if I do a sub 2, I have negative 1, 2 plus 1 times 2 squared plus 1. 2 plus 1 is 3. Negative 1 cubed is negative 1. 2 squared is 4 plus 1 is 5. Are we think like we're on the right path? Yes. Okay. Yes. Is yes. We're not really guessing. We're just kind of working through what the relationship is. Um, we're going through there. And yes, that's what. Um, that's exactly what I was trying to describe to you guys. Is, ladies and gentlemen, the first thing we learned is.